Bonjour everyone! Today we are going to create the stage for a circus inspired by Cirque Calder. It's an artistic rendering of a circus created by the American artist Alexander Calder. It involves wire models rigged to perform the various functions of the circus performers they represent. From contortionists to sword eaters to lion tamers, the models are made of various items, generally wire and wood. Calder began improvising performances of this circus during his time in Paris. He would comment in French during the performance. The Cirque Calder is part of the permanent collection of the Whitney Museum in New York, and you can see a video of him performing the circus on the internet. What materials do you notice in this artwork? What do you see? What inspires you in your artwork. For the materials, we'll need food box, cardboard, scissors, glue, paper, and something to color with. All right, I'm ready to get my stage going. So what do I need to do to get started? Today, we're gonna start with a cereal box. Cut that cereal box open. Remove those extra tabs, and you're gonna create two panels that are square. So fold the side over till it lines up neatly and cut that extra piece off the bottom. I have a square that I'm going to fold in half and I'm gonna crease it with the edge of my scissors and I'm gonna fold it in half the other way. Again, using my scissors to make a nice crisp crease. Opening it up and I'm going to cut just to the middle, right where all those lines meet, and that's it. See how this is gonna fold? Before I do that, I wanna decorate the front and the back. So I have some construction paper here to cover the front and the back with. You can color it if you don't have any paper. I folded this paper in half so I can have duplicate cuts. one for the front, one for the back. I'm gonna fold these in half so that they will glue nice and easy on the front and the back of this. I'm gonna thinly spread this layer of glue so it's not lumpy. You only need to do this for the top half of this edge and now I'm going to glue the bottom here now you're going to want to create two of these and we're going to use them on the outer edge of the stage we can run string between these and there's a few different things we can do with them so cut a piece of cardboard out for your stage and find two large round circles to trace. I used a plate and a bowl that I found. You might have some lids or just some dishware that you can use to create the center of your stage. A big circle and then a small circle. Decorate it with a variety of lines. And what do you notice that I did here? Yep, I outlined it and I added a variety of lines. Now here you can color with any tools you have available. Here I have oil pastels and I'm just gonna create a pattern. I'm going to draw very strategically so I don't get pastel on my hand and for this next part I'm gonna mix some paint 
got red and blue making purple and yellow and blue making green. And I'm just mixing those colors with the end of my paintbrush. I have a mat to go under, or a pa paper bag in this case, paper towel, water, and a variety of brush sizes. I'm painting the biggest shapes first with a big paintbrush. And then I'm going back into those smaller areas with a small paintbrush. Focusing on pattern here and just making a repeated pattern of colors and shapes. Use the tools you got and enjoy creating the stage for your circus. Thank you for all the inspiration, Alexander Calder. I am excited to work on this circus.